across my years in the sector, I met very few people who don't care about their teaching. I think everyone wants to do a good job in a significant part of their work. Of course it's true that sometimes people aren't very good judges of whether or not they're good at their job. And it's also true that people could be good in one part of their job, teaching in one particular part of the program and not in others. But I think individuals want to be good teachers and heads of department want good teaching in their programs. Student feedback is used to do that, um, or to help achieve that goal, but also peer review of teaching has become increasingly part of the culture of departments. So one of the important changes in the sector over the last few years in both departments and at university level is that the uh, part of the practice of improving teaching has been peer review of teaching. This has been driven by a motivation to improve student learning outcomes and to help academics enjoy a significant part of their job. Teaching, of course, as some would argue, is the most important things academics can do. We've always tried to encourage academics to, to use many sources of feedback about their teaching. So they use student, uh, student surveys, but to use their peers' feedback about their teaching in the same way that they use journal reviewers' opinions about their research. So a good example of how culture drives process is the development of uh, awards for significant uh, contributions to student learning outcomes at both department, faculty, institution and at national levels. Those awards for outstanding contributions to student learning are really a, a fabulous example of how peer review of teaching has been incorporated into universities processes and structures because to apply for one of those awards you have to supply evidence of peer review of your teaching performance, of your the curriculum you've developed and also that you have used peer review either by your academic colleagues and by students to improve your teaching practice. So where this culture exists, processes develop and that's a good starting point for universities to develop structures to actually put these more formal processes in place to help colleagues come on board to use peer review to improve their teaching.